Hello, I am Alan Tobin, and this is Dalton Weaver for Sumo TV, and this is uh, Crystal Schuster with the Law Enforcement Torch Run. Can you tell me what, have more about the Law Enforcement Torch Run? Sure, the Law Enforcement Torch Run is um, where law enforcement agencies from across the state have chosen, well actually from across the world, have chosen Special Olympics as their charity of choice. So they raise money for us to be able to put on our programs for our athletes all year long, and then they come to our events and support us in any way that they can. My question to you is, what is your involvement with the Law Enforcement Torch Run and how long you've been doing it? I've been doing it for 11 years, and my involvement is that I'm the SOMO staff person who kind of is just there to support them in any way that they need. So I give them the tools that they need to help with their fundraising or to answer questions or to give them um, just some support. I hear we have broken a record this year. Can you tell me more about that? Sure. This year we had 3,100 runners who ran in the torch run this May um, across the state. And that's the most we have or had. Last year we had 2,000 runners, so we had 1,100 more this year. I hear a big part of that is from Port Leonard Wood. Yep, they had 1,700 runners just mm. from Port Leonard Wood. They've always been a big part of anything that Special Olympics has, Missouri has done. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate all of that. Yep, they're great supporters. My next question, what agencies are involved and uh, how can you get involved with the uh, law enforcement torch run? So um, any agency that is a part of law enforcement, so police departments, sheriff's departments, correctional institutions, and the highway patrol are all involved. Um, there's about 160 right now that are involved, and to get involved, all they have to do is call our office, and then we'll hook them up with a region coordinator in their area and give them all the tools that they need to help get them start started. Can you give us a ballpark figure of how much they raised this year? Um, well, they're still in the middle of fundraising for this year, but their goal is $2.6 million, and last year they raised $2.5 million. So they're on a pretty good track to make their goal. Thank you, Crystal, for being here. Yep. I am Alan Tobin with Dalton Weaver. So Unified Sports is where we have the athletes who are the kids with intellectual disability and we have unified partners who are people like me who come and help them play the sports. So we help them with bowling, basketball, boti, and we just direct them on where to be on the field or court and just help them out. So we try to include unified anytime we can. Um, we love it when they join our team. Um, it's supposed to me um, that that so doing this and it's a good thing and it makes all of us so happy to, to have them on our team. It makes me feel like a part of the team. They always help me out during hard times. She always makes me want to be a better athlete. Um, I like it because I can spend time with him and we can just play and have fun. You get to take that extra step in being a part of their lives. My favorite part is just seeing them succeed. I mean, that smile on their face whenever they get the point and just watching them play and have fun. That feeling that you've made a difference in someone else's life because when you see the kids jumping up and down because they just made a goal that you passed to them. It's, it's really rewarding. Because he's the best friend the guy could ever had. Um, I play like uh, bowling and basketball, part of the flat football. We both play flat football. Mm -hmm. uh, I play bowling, bocce, basketball, and track. Play softball, football, basketball. Volleyball, soccer, bochi, bowling. Um, I play unified basketball and bowling and track. So, of course, I do flag football, um, swimming, golf, powerlifting. I play bowling, basketball, volleyball. I do powerlifting. I play basketball, flag football, and tennis. What I was surprised about was the level of competition. 
that they put into it. It's not just a participation sport. They take it seriously, they compete, they train, and then they perform. A lot of people expect that they can't do what we do because they're not like we are. But that's not true because they have just as much spirit, just as much drive, and um, whenever they get on, on the field, they want to do just as much as we do. I've seen some amazing athletes, I mean amazing athletes, that I would love to play on my, you know, my regular team <laughs> because, wow, <laughs> they're very good. <laughs> Well, uh, I mainly play uh, Special Olympics because I would feel kind of uncomfortable being around people, you know, who didn't have a disability like me. So, if I were around those type of people, I kind of feel like more of the outsider, the outcast, and I kind of feel like I, you know, maybe get made fun of by the by all the other people in the group if they found out I was disabled. So, this is why I play in Special Olympics because I feel very comfortable in this specific environment, and you know, nobody makes fun of one another, and we're all. We're all family and we're all, we're all just alike and we're all the same. In the beginning you definitely have some um, assumptions, but whenever you start talking to people and really getting to know them, you, all those are wiped away. Um, you, you really understand that they are just like you. They have just as much fun as you do, just in a different way. Just being with somebody who's not like you, the experience of getting to know somebody who has a completely different lifestyle than you. It's actually really amazing. Um, you get a new perspective on things. You, you see things in a different light. And um, it really opens you up to a lot of different ideas that you probably wouldn't have thought of before. Just getting to a game to see the atmosphere. As soon as you step in and sit down, you see what the kids are feeling. The emotion is so high in those rooms, in those gyms, on the track being there for them, you, it's definitely impacting. I would encourage parents and children to either go to, volunteer, or be a part of a Special Olympic event it, so you can actually see what goes on and see how much it means to these kids, the, the athletes and the partners both. They get so much out of it. And until you actually are there, and, be, and are a part of it and see it for yourself, you have no idea. I encourage everyone to volunteer. You know, I think a lot of it is if they just come to a game and they just watch some of it, they see that, you know, we have just as much fun as any other team out there. And so I, I think it's just coming and watching. It's like a hook system. You get them there for that one thing and they're hooked on, on the whole aspect of unified sports, Special Olympics and they want to, to help. And then they go back and tell two or three friends. And, and again, that, that system, it will just grow. The network spreads. Come out, see how much fun it is, and then it gets sold on the idea. 2015 was a great year for Special Olympics Missouri. Our law enforcement torch run was named the number six largest in the world, raising nearly two and a half million dollars for our athletes. The world's largest truck convoy set a new record in Joplin with 377 trucks. And we were lucky enough to send a softball team and a tennis athlete as a part of the USA team to the World Games in Los Angeles. And last, we were able to secure 16 and a half acres for our new Training for Life campus right in Jefferson City, Missouri. I would invite you to explore this site to learn all about 2015 and what you helped us do. Thank you for your support. Hello, welcome to SOMO TV. This is Rodney Shove. On this side here is Larry Stevens, and on my other side is Gary Wilbers. Welcome to SOMO TV, Gary. Thanks for having me today. You're welcome. What was the announcement at the peace conference? We announced at the press conference this week that we've raised $16 million, so that's going to allow us to move forward with the Training for Life campus. Um, and we're excited about that announcement. A lot of people have donated, but it's um, a great time because now we can start making the plans and start building the actual campus. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, Gary, when is the, uh, when's the groundbreaking? 
The groundbreaking, we're not sure yet. We're working on some of the details there. It will be this fall, though. Okay. Um, it could be in conjunction with outdoor games, which, which will be in Jefferson City the middle of October, but we're not exactly sure yet. Okay. But then the grant, when we truly get started on the campus, it'll be next spring in March that we'll actually start building the, the campus. That's awesome. We want to experience open. Our goal is that it'll take about a year, maybe a little bit longer. You never know with how much rain you have and depending how winter weather is. Yeah. So our goal is that we'll open it spring, early summer of 2018, and we'll be functional where we'll have our first camps in the year of 2018, probably more in that April to June time frame. That's yeah. awesome. Uh, awesome. Gary. All right, Gary, um, what, uh, what kind of training facilities will we, uh, will we have there at the campus? Yes. Our goal is that you can tr train in all the sports that we have, all except one. We know we won't have a swimming pool, so okay. swimming would not be on site. That's but everything right. else, our goal is that we'll be able to have the training there. So we'll have a gym, we'll have bocce courts, we'll have a field um, for the outdoor, we'll have a track. So all the events that you go to at a statewide event, yeah. all except that swimming part of it, we plan to be able to have there because we want you to be able to train in those events. Well, that's good because swimming is not my strong suit. <laughs> <laughs> well, swimming is my favorite or two. We'll find a place that you can still train there, Larry. Well, that's true. I'll give you that. And um, I'm looking forward to this Train for Life campus and looking forward to seeing that. That's what it's going to be on the groundbreaking. And that's going to be real life for us. Yes, it, you know, all along we've said this is really allows you all to be able to call this place your home, um, yeah. the athletes, and for you to train to get better. And it's really more than just about training in the training side of the sports. It's also just like what you're doing here with the leadership training. Yes. And then we also are going to have the healthy athletes initiatives there. Oh, that's so cool. those, all those functions, you'll be able to get tested, look at eyes, feet, um, hearing, Okay. all those right there so we're really excited about that part of the campus all too right. and when we build this you'll be the we'll be the only facility not only in the united states but in the world that has all three of those in the campus so we're oh. going to be a one of a kind missouri is going to be special oh I've, cool. I've i've heard that and i and i think uh i think it's pretty dang cool that that we're uh, we're doing this here in, in the great state of missouri i agree with you Yep, that's really good having this Train for Life campus for our athletes. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, go ahead, sign off. Well, well, thank you very much, Gary, for being with us here on Somo TV. I went, I went to class of 2016 myself, so looking forward to this Train for Life campus. So thank you so much, and everybody, be there for the groundbreaking. I think all we want, dudes.
This officer has been involved in the torch run for 17 years. Serves as a region coordinator, working with recruitment and growing the LATR family in the area. Serving as a mentor to many and myself. After becoming the region coordinator, this region was awarded the greatest increase in, in gross dollars for three years in a row. Has been instrumental in growing the region's torch run to include over 1,000 runners. Had the idea to bring the polar plunge to their region and has served as a committee chair since its inception. Serving as the Missouri's final leg runner in New Jersey in 2014. In the words of his nominators, this recipient only takes on the responsibility of fundraising, but wants everyone to know what Special Olympics stands for and what is done for its athletes around the world. He is a true friend and champion of the Special Olympics Missouri family. It truly is all about the athletes, and I, uh, I, I'm humbled and I'm honored to stand here before you. You don't do this for the recognition, but I tell you, when it, it comes, it, uh, it's, it's truly amazing. So um, thank you all very much. What an honor. I proudly, proudly receive this, and, and I'm honored. Thank you. Jessica Jansen is a SOMO athlete, but more importantly, she's a leader. Jessica competes in SOMO sports year-round, playing basketball, bowling, track and field, bocce, and volleyball. Not only is she an outstanding athlete on the court, she is a huge advocate for Special Olympics year-round as well. In this past year alone, Jessica spoke at several Knights of, Columbia, Knights of Columbus meetings to ask for their support of the new Training for Life campus. Jessica used the courage and confidence that she had gained from these experiences with Special Olympics to give her speech at her high school graduation. I nominated Jessica for the Area Athlete of the Year um, for her outstanding leadership within our program. She not only does an amazing thing within her community in Warrington, Missouri, which is inspiring the people at her high school, she even gave her high school um, graduation speech, which I thought was incredible and amazing for anyone to get up there and do, but no less um, for one of our athletes to have the courage to get up there and do what she had gained um, through joining one of our athlete leadership programs. Um, she came and sat through an entire Alps University to get her global messenger um, communications degree and so she's just an awesome athlete within our community in St. Louis. Um, she's always putting a smile on everyone's faces and inspires all the people around her. I'm so excited how I got this because I know I had this before. Thank you for supporting me. Hi, welcome back to SOMO TV. I'm here with Alan Tobin, Arthur Murphy, Larry Stevens, and Rodney Schof, and we're doing our favorite segment called What's Happening in SOMO. Hi guys, what's up? Not, much. Not too what's much. Up with you? <laughs> Who went to summer games last weekend? Uh, yep. All of you? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. What did you do? Uh, I had a part of the four by four, the running long jump. So you did track? Track. Awesome. And what lost, medals, what awards did you get? I got uh, two first, two seconds, and a third. Awesome. Great job. Arthur, what sports did you do? I did the shot foot, 
And I got gold in that. I did the four by four hundred relay. Got gold in that. Got the long. Did the long jump. Got silver in that. And then the uh, the four hundred got silver in that. All right, Rodney, what'd you do? Well, I did uh, track and uh, volleyball. We're boring, Larry. Uh, <laughs> or did I you just not. not sleep last night? But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, on, on volleyball, we took second. Uh, we got beat by Mid-Missouri. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's happened. <laughs> it happens. And uh, then on the uh, running long jump and shot put, I took first. On the 100-meter uh, run, I got second. And on the 4 by 100, took fourth. Awesome. Great job. Thank you. Larry? How'd you do? Well, I did uh, volleyball, which mm -hmm. was the first one. Yeah. Got gold in that. It was an awesome game. I scored. I scored the two winning points in both games. Yes, you did. I took two, three golds and a silver and uh, swimming. Awesome. Sweet. That's awesome. Did everybody have fun? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Did anybody go to the dance? Yes. I played bingo. You played bingo? You went to the dance? I played bingo. Awesome. Okay. Who's going to sports camp? Everybody again? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I feel sorry for Susan Schaefer. Oh, oh, she's got really? all of you. Shouldn't you feel sorry for us? <laughs> no. Exactly. <laughs> what are you most looking forward to sports camp? Uh, the sports. The sports? Of course. Yeah, uh, activities. learning activities. Uh huh. Learning more about each sport that we play. Uh huh. And our theme is the pirates. Oh, ooh, you might be giving out secrets. Mm. We'll see. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. That and uh, fishing. <laughs> but fishing, fishing also. Fishing and the dance. Oh, oh I, yeah. I like yeah, the fishing. Dude. Yeah, mm -hmm. too. love it. You guys get soda at the dance, don't you? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> oh. So, before sports camp happens, we're going to have Alps University. Cool. Is anybody yeah. involved in that? I am. Um, I get to in October. You get to in October? Awesome. I would if I could get the money. Okay, well, you know what? We're going to have to work on some fundraising for that, aren't we? We, we might have to. Exactly. Larry, mm -hmm. what's your major? My major is in uh, computer physics. Technology? Technology, learn about computers and stuff. Yeah? What did you learn? Uh, Google Slides, emails. And what was the very first thing? Didn't we have to go through a big, huge video that Brandon made us look, watch. Yeah. Intro to Alps. Yep. Yeah. Some old TV, I think it was. And you had to do some volunteer hours for it. No, it's still a classic. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. interesting, because that's what I want to do. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm wanting to. But Fast Pro does do that fundraising, too. too. Arthur, Good you said you're going to start going. Mm -hmm. Are you starting this summer, or? You weren't at the first one. No. So you're going to start October or this one? October. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you looked at any of the uh, majors, thought about anything? Mm. Probably computers. Probably computers? Uh -huh. Yeah, or uh, sports, sports broadcasting, something like that. I bet technology majors really help with the SOMO TV, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> One thing I want to, one thing I want to uh, major in is uh, coaching. Okay, I think that is an option. Yeah. So that's awesome. I've been helping Larry, and we've just been having a great time. Oh yeah. That is awesome. Well, we're gonna wrap this up, guys. Yep. All right. And that's fine. Thank you, Alan, Arthur, you. Rodney, and Larry. I'm Terry Stevens for Somo TV. And Larry, why don't you sign us out? And I um, just want to give two words. I hope you all come out to the uh, um, Training for Life campus as well. And, uh, 
And uh, that's a wrap. That's a wrap, dudes. <laughs> <laughs> <Sign up. laughs>